Hi, I'm Steve Lagerstrom with the Park Place Dealerships, and today we're going to take a look at the newest addition to the Range Rover lineup, the all-new from the ground up, Velar. Positioned between the Evoque and the Range Rover Sport, the Velar delivers an all-new design language, as well as unique proportions and technologies. The futuristic and innovative design of the Velar will play a pivotal role in challenging established premium SUV rivals in the ultra-competitive medium SUV segment. So let's look at the newest Range Rover offering that uses a name steeped in Range Rover heritage to deliver a unique, coupe-like experience that makes Range Rover a formidable player in the mid-size SUV market. There are engine choices galore with the Velar. It offers everything from a 247 horsepower 2-liter inline 4 to a 380 horsepower supercharged 3-liter V6. An 8-speed automatic transmission and all-wheel drive are standard on all models as are the ultra-modern good looks that set Velar apart from the rest of its Range Rover siblings. It has a long, leaner, and more athletic stance than other Rovers. The body structure, excluding closures, is 82% aluminum. The LED exterior lights and the aerodynamic and visually pleasing flush-mounted door handles give it a svelte look that's different from other Rovers. Four-wheel drive is engaged at all times. The torque split can move from 100% rear bias to 50-50 front rear bias, but the normal operation will be a 50-50 split. The Velar feels like it's glued to the road even when weather and surface conditions aren't at their optimum levels. The Velar is an absolute work of art from any viewing angle, but it shines most from the sides. The long, low-slung, coupe-like body, combined with the rakish spoiler that comes off the rear roofline, gives Velar a unique look that brings a lot to the Range Rover party. It's stylish, and it can back up its good looks with world-class performance on virtually any road surface. Heck, it's a Range Rover, so let's amend that and make it any surface. Who needs roads when you have a Range Rover? I'm also very fond of the flush mounted door handles. It's never a bad thing when you combine form and function this deftly. The lean tail lights that flank the Range Rover badging in the rear are a continuation of the styling of the narrow LED front headlights, and they provide a wonderful last look of the Velar. The creators of this visually stunning body style didn't miss a trick, and the Velar is beautiful to behold from virtually any angle, including the rear. The rear spoiler that completes the Velar's roofline is certainly visually pleasing, but it's also functional as it enhances aerodynamics. If you're someone who needs to carry a lot of gear in your SUV, the Velar will fill the bill nicely with its huge rear storage dimensions. It's easy to access as well, just a touch of the key, and the rear hatch springs open, revealing the cavernous storage area. There's even a nice privacy cover if you have gear you don't want others to see stored in your Velar. And you can either touch the button here or touch the button on the key and close the hatch back up. The interior of the Velar is beautiful to behold. Two 10-inch high-res touchscreens contribute to a well-integrated media experience while also helping with the refined interior design. The upper screen is where the majority of features are controlled. The lower screen controls the climate distribution, the climate seats, the massage seats, and the train response and driver features. And here's a really nice touch. The top screen can actually be angled to your exact desired viewing preference. The different drive modes can be chosen from the bottom screen. So in this particular mode, auto, it tells me the vehicle is actually going to select between comfort, grass, gravel, snow, the mud setting, the sand setting, and it blends between programs as needed. With as long and low slung as Velar is, it's not a surprise that you have expansive legroom in the vehicle, but it is a bit surprising that the engineers managed to build as much headroom into it as they did. Let's get the Velar out on the road and see if it drives as great as it looks. All right, so here's our first opportunity to actually go out and drive the Velar. And first impression, it actually feels a little bit bigger on the inside out here driving it than it even did in the showroom. Uh, as far as the engine goes, let's test it out. Well, it's got a great engine note, and you can tell that all four wheels are getting traction. It's got the four-wheel drive fully engaged all the time, so you've got that 50-50 split, and you can absolutely feel it at takeoff. It's extremely sure-footed. I'm trying to feel the gear shifts. I can tell they're happening because the tachometer is adjusting, but you certainly can't feel it. The particular one we're driving right now has the head-up display so I can see my current speed. And real quickly, I'm gonna just try the turning radius on it and see how it does. And that is absolutely as tight as any Rover I've ever been in. Wow, easy to park. 
The Velar is perhaps the most forward-thinking SUV to ever grace the Range Rover lineup. It's a rare blend of beauty, brawn, and flat-out impressive capability on any road surface that needs to be driven to be adequately appreciated. If you'd like to arrange your personal test drive, please visit us at Park Place Land Rover DFW. It's located conveniently on the eastbound side of Highway 114 near DFW Airport. Need to do a little more fact-finding first? Visit us online at parkplace.com. And then please contact one of our Range Rover experts if you have any questions or if you'd like to schedule that in-person visit. And thank you for taking the time to look at the all-new Velar.